Well, Jets fans, uh, here in Cleveland, and let's be honest, that's about as bad as it can get for the Jets. That was a terrible performance against a hapless team that hadn't won in 635 days. Uh, and the Jets blow a 14-point lead in order to lose to the Browns on Thursday Night Football on the road here. I mean, the Browns are not as bad of a team this year as they have been in past years, but still, that is a game the Jets have to win if they want to be considered you know, a, a potential playoff team or, or at least a team on the rise going forward this season. Uh, and frankly, I mean, one of the biggest issues with this team right now is its penalty problem, and it is bad. I mean, the the last couple of weeks, it's been a big, big issue. Todd Bowles has harped on it after games. He said after the game today that penalties happen, which is true, penalties do happen. But as he said, you can't take them at crucial times. And right now, that seems to be the only time the Jets take them. They take them in every big situation. And ultimately, that falls on Bowles. He has to be uh, responsible for the fact that the Jets just aren't a disciplined team right now. I mean, not only do they take penalties at bad times, like Morris Claiborne taking a, a holding call on the two-point conversion uh, in the third quarter of this game, gave the Browns a second chance, and they wound up tying the game at 14 because of it. But the Jets also take a lot of dumb penalties, and that is a killer. Uh, Tremaine Johnson had two terrible penalties today, one for unsportsmanlike conduct after an incomplete pass where he was basically taunting the Browns, and two plays later, uh, you know, he gets another 15-yard flag for uh, you know, hitting the head of Tyrod Taylor. Those are two unbelievably dumb penalties. Last week, costly penalties against the Dolphins. They gave away three free first downs. The Jets are just not a disciplined team right now, and that is inexcusable. And ultimately, that comes back to Todd Bowles. I mean, penalties haunted this team last year. They've been an issue for a while now. And, you know, somewhere along the way, accountability has to come into play. And that's the job of the head coach. Uh, you know, he, he always says all the right things about it, but we haven't seen anything actually happen. There, there has been no tangible improvement. This team has taken 19 penalties uh, or maybe 20 penalties right in that ballpark through three games. That is not a good number and they're taking them at horrible times. And again, it all comes back to Todd Bowles. He has to find a way for the Jets to clean this up. It's not gonna go away on its own. They tried the penalty push-ups thing during training camp. That clearly didn't work. He's gotta find a way, try something new to get this bad habit snuffed out, or the Jets are going to deal with it again all season long, and it is going to cost them games. It cost them tonight, it cost them against the Dolphins, and it will only continue to get worse down the road if the Jets don't do something to nip this in the bud.